Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 3. Last time we actually... Hey, dog me. <laughs> I was freaking out. I thought that was like a small Merler crowd. I'm like, no! Last time we actually talked to, this, to the good old Dr. Uh, Pickman? Yes? Pink Pinkerton? Uh, about the history of this place. And he actually told us, which is also very nice. Now, I don't think he actually gave me a key out of here. I don't think so. I think I have to go out the way I came. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. Nope. Well, luckily there was a switch right there. I just looked. I mean, I, I noticed it right after I said it, but I mean, jeez. Okay, well, we're going to head back to Rivet City real quick because uh, I need to talk to a few people before... Uh, I can actually officially say we're done with this, with side missions for a bit. Because I kind of want to do the, the robot. The robot. So, yeah, and maybe even buy some stim packs because uh, I am so low, it's like, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, I actually got some. I didn't realize that. Uh, I did pick up a few. I didn't even know. <laughs> How did I not know this? How did I not do know this? Okay, so I'm gonna go to ri open the door of Rivet City. Uh, I know where the doctor is. The good old doctor. I'm not talking about Doctor Who. I'm talking about the doctor. <laughs> which makes it sound like Doctor Who, which is kind of weird. So we're gonna go talk to the doctor in this area, mainly because uh, he has what I need to continue on with the investigation. Uh, from what I am 100% sure of, um, because why wouldn't he? He's an awesome doctor who's so kind to help me out. So let's just go see if we can actually get the information. Um, now if I recall, this is where the hotel is. Yes, it is. Sweet. He should be right at the end of this hallway, right? Yep, here he is. Hi. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Uh, ever... Yeah, let's do uh, the speech. Facial surgery is way too dangerous to try. Need special equipment and expertise. Hmm. Reminds me of this old hoax. Here, listen to this holotape. Okay, that was actually really uh, easy. Um, this place is pretty easy to lo rob. Do you know where I can get something to drink? Could I ask? I already got the history. Uh, this place looks... Uh... Let's see if your doctor, I could use some help. Let's see if he has any supplies. Here's what I have. Cool. Um, how much is, uh... Oh, he doesn't even... Oh, he has stim packs. I was gonna be like, where's the stim packs? I wanna get eight. There we go. Jesus, they're expensive. Okay, I'll accept that because you're an awesome you doctor. Else. Take care. Thank you. Uh, now let's, uh, listen to the good old tape he gave me. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. We just need to find someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon who Don't knows how to keep ideas. his mouth shut, send him our way. Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. Do you know any trustworthy techies? Troublemakers. Okay, do we have to talk You're to him wounded. again? Let me bandage that. Uh, Facial surgery is way... Okay, so I don't even get uh, told about this. Great! Take care. So I guess we have to report our findings down to uh, Pinkerton. I, I don't... Not Pinkerton. Uh, Zimmer. I, I don't know how we're going to go through this mission. Like, I mean, I should probably equ equip that mission to begin, begin with. Uh, replicated. Yeah, let's let's talk to Zimmer. Maybe he has something to help us out here. Um, hopefully. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really? How do you people? Okay, I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Okay, nice to know. 
Uh, any suggestions for help for like this? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Okay, um... This one, why would he want to... Oh, so I have to... I literally have to talk to people. Great. Uh, That's great. I mean, seriously. I love this search. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess... She gave me one of those looks. Oh, my God. She gave me the death glare. I'm like, Jesus. Terrifying. Okay, let's uh, go talk to him again since apparently that's what we're doing. You're wounded. Let me ban. Uh, let's see. Um, you're a doctor, right? Dang it. It doesn't even help me. Dang it, this sucks. I can't even get on his terminal. Come on. Maybe he has a passcode. No, I'm not risking it. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not risking my uh, getting friggin' attacked just because because of that. Okay, let's talk to Zimmer about that. Um, since you know that's probably a good idea. He'll give me clues. How about that? Okay, Z Zimmer. Uh, here's Standing what you wanted. Standing around all day chit-chatting isn't going to help you track down my android, is it? Yeah, it will. I mean, seriously. Um, someone got their hands on a, a micro... Yeah. Really? Someone managed to procure those here in the wasteland? Impressive. But who out here could have the skill to use them? Hmm. You're making progress, certainly. But you've got nothing more to learn from me. Get back out there. Hmm. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll Got it. your neck like a chicken bone. Rude. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. Okay, uh I help Dr. Lee when she needs I don't know. moved. I am no scientist. I just help with the heavy things. Can I talk to Dr. I've Lee about told this? I you everything I know. I don't understand why you're still here. Uh, can you? Is there anything I. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, tell me about the project. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Uh, Zimmer? About that Zimmer? doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Okay. That's great. Good luck. Not what I wanted, but hey, we'll, we'll figure out where this person is. I'm hoping we do at least, because I'm trying to figure out wh where, how I can get to where I already know about Pinkerton, so I mean, seriously. I probably should go talk to some more people, that'd probably be better. Hello? You've been rather busy lately, asking questions, investigating, so is yeah. that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Uh, I think you're confusing me with someone else. Look, whoever this missing android... Yeah, let's do that one. Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear you understand uh yeah what do you want you really me to do now take this it's an internal component from the very android you're searching for don't ask how i obtained it present it to dr zimmer in rivet city tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse he'll believe you do that and zimmer will go back to the commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone do that and you'll have saved a man's life 
Okay, awesome. Well, uh... You know what you need to do. That's actually really good. So let's let him know that Zimmer is dead. Because... Well, not Zimmer. The android's dead. We'll just say that, even though, uh... It's really not true. The android's still alive, obviously. Otherwise, she wouldn't have me, like, fake... Say, say that, uh, he's dead. But hey, at least she gave us proof just to prove it. What? Uh, yeah. What? Let me see that. This is a neuroservo. Unique to the A321. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, oh, damn it. I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this... this... wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. You you bastard! 50 caps? You promised me new technology! I gave you the freaking proof! You bastard! Oh my god, I hate him. I hate Zimmer now. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna quickly... What do I want to upgrade? You know what, I'll upgrade... Um, I'll upgrade my science real quick to 40. And I guess I'll also upgrade... Oh god, this is a tough decision. I could upgrade quite a bit here. I got 10, so I'm going to put in small guns. Uh, because that will probably be better if I uh, level that up. So what I have here now, I got the Mysterious Stranger. Actually, I kind of want that. But first, I want to take a... Oh, so I don't have that mu much to get go with. Okay. So I got the Mysterious Stranger perk now. Basically, the Mysterious Stranger perk is basically where in VATS, I do have a likely ability of a mysterious man popping out and shooting uh, shooting my enemy with a one-shot insta-kill, which is actually really amazing in my opinion. I'm actually really glad I got it. Uh, and yeah, basically all we're doing now is just... Uh, Gonna go and uh, talk to Mo Moira about the about the survival guide. So yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a plus. What okay, I, I already skipped uh, my exit. There we go. Open door to Rivet City. Oh, okay. And once we turn that in, we'll be 100% ready to continue on with our mission. To, uh. For, to find our dad, obviously. So let's go find Moira in Megaton, which shouldn't be that hard because uh, we actually know where her shop is. So, I mean, not really the hardest to find her. So, yeah. With Daddy's Girl perk, uh, female character gains an additional five points. Okay, so basically that's like uh, the other one. Okay, Daddy's Boy. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's just go uh, talk to Moira, who should be in Craterside Supply right now. Hopefully it's still open, because I do not want to wait. Please still be open. Yes! It's open! It's open! Hey, Moira. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Uh, wow, I could lie and fake it? No. After a lot of researching, I've got the real history. Yeah, this is probably a good thing, because uh, we already got the history. Why lie? Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. Uh, it began as successful science station traders settled around. Uh, they cleared out the Merlurks and science fo folks and the rest moved in. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's. Should we talk about the Moira Lurks? You know what? Why not? They they were included. I'll bet they used some sort of chemical device to drive off the Meyer Lurks. Or a sonic device. Hmm. Anyway, I guess it worked pretty well. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Uh, speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. The next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Sweet. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's continue with the last I got chapter. I've a which... section on working with old computer electronics. 
so there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? Uh, you know what? Technology sounds really great at this it point. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, go in and connect a uh, widget to a frame just to uh, get an army of robots. Sweet! Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Okay. Sweet. All right. So, uh... I'm gonna wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have stuff to sell for you. To you, uh, then we'll uh, aren't really my stuff. Uh, basically, all I need to do is uh, sell some stuff, and we should be good. Which is the jet? Because I do not like uh, using these. Because I hardly ever use them. Even though uh, I always get told to use them by uh, my friends because they always have bonuses, I never Good use hunting. them. Mainly because I kind of don't need them. I mean, I'm usually alright without the stuff. And some of my friends even agree with me that, uh, like my friend Ma Carpy, we play Fallout quite a bit. Uh, and we both agree that we don't even use half the stuff we are, we're, uh, we're given, like Jet and all that. But uh, mainly because we never need to use it, which is surprising. Hey, what do you need? Uh, c do I have any scrap? Let's see. Well, all right. That okay, yeah, I did. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I'm gonna end it here. If you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. In the next part, we're gonna go to uh, Jefferson's Memorial because we're gonna continue on with the main story. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and yeah. Bye!